protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Now one person who's been dead set against Rand Paul from the very beginning is Senator John McCain. And by the way, he just announced that he will be seeking yet another term. And that's good news for the military industrial complex because McCain is known for his cozy relationship with oh, the likes of Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and Boeing. And he also has a very cozy relationship with radical Islamic terrorists. That alone should guarantee his position in the Senate. And it was McCain who was instrumental in arming and funding ISIS terrorists in Libya. And I am concerned about this report about Syrian rebels and the ceasefire with ISIS. Uh, Senator but that's Paul, not true. Well, it's not true. Uh, it's not true. The, uh, Whether, I don't care about the report. I know these people intimately. We talk to them all the time. Abdel Makim Belhach, seen here with Senators John McCain and Lindsey Graham. Well, he's the leader of radical Islamic fighting groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda, better known around here as Al-Qaeda. And these guys actually killed U.S. troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. I know these people. I'm in contact with them all the time. And we know that ISIS keeps receiving these accidental airdrops of weapons from U.S. planes. Uh, yeah, I wonder how that goes down. And I've talked with Joe Biggs about that. He says there's no way that it's an accident, that these guys pride themselves in pinpoint accuracy. So the fact that these weapons end up in the hands of ISIS is, it, come on, guys, it's, it's deliberate. They are, the United States is deliberately dropping these weapons into the hands of terrorists. Thank you, John McCain. We know you've been supporting these terrorists for a very long time. And I'll tell you something else about Senator John McCain that most of you don't know about. This is his dirty little secret that you won't catch on the mainstream corporate news media. And that's the fact that he is despised and hated by most Vietnam veterans. I know this might come to a shock to some of you because we've all heard from our television sets how John McCain was a courageous prisoner of war during Vietnam and that he was loved by the brave men and women that he served with. And you know, that's it's not exactly true. You know, following the Vietnam War, there was a huge search for American POWs and it was Senator John McCain who opposed the Senate Select Committee on POW MIA affairs. That's right. He didn't want anybody looking into his past and what really went down during his capture. North Korea did not return a large number of American servicemen at the end of the war, and that some of the men left behind were sent to communist China and to the Soviet Union. Internal documents and statements made at the time also show that our government believed that men were still alive in captivity, and until only a few months ago has kept that reality from the American people. It has covered up what it knew through a pattern of denial, misleading statements, in some cases lies, and by doing so with regard to the Korean conflict, it broke its commitment with the people who put on the uniform to fight for the freedoms and protection that we and our allies enjoy today. Uh, I'll tell you, what's not said on the television and will not be said on the television is how much Vietnam veterans and the POWs hate John McCain. A lot of POWs that were living in the camp said he was a, was a collaborator of the enemy. And he didn't want nobody looking into his background in the camp, what went on in that camp. That stuff is still classified, so nobody could see it. And he just had it classified forever, so nobody would ever look at it. I'm an old Vietnam veteran, and uh, all the POWs that I've talked to over the years say that John McCain is a lying skunk. You know, that he, he never was tortured. They were there in the camp with him, and when he came in with his two broken arms because he failed to pull his arms in when he bailed out of his plane and had a leg injury, immediately starts spilling his guts about everything because he didn't want to get tortured. And he made 32 different videos for the communists speaking out against America and how evil they were for what they were doing in Vietnam. Probably did more harm to the idea of trying to get the truth out than any other single person through the efforts he did.
to block the release of classified intelligence dealing with the POWMIA problem. John McCain uh, uh, and John Kerry both were um, not pursuing this at the, with the same uh, approach that I was. But on the Senate side, we had, we had one person standing in the way of getting in positions that would have been very tough on government bureaucrats who didn't tell the truth. And that one person was Senator John McCain. He insisted that no committee be set up unless he was chairman. So obviously, his intent was to kill everything. He admits that he gave them all of the codes, all of the data, and uh, I'm not even so much blaming him for that, because under torture, people do that, but it turns out he wasn't tortured, and then right. he started singing like a canary in seconds. Yeah, they call him, uh, the Vietnamese communists call him the Songbird. Matter of fact, that's his code name up there is Songbird McCain because he just came into the camp singing and telling them everything they wanted to know. So this committee was bitterly opposed by John McCain. And by the way, it, it unanimously passed in the House 401 to zero. Only one person in the Senate stood in their way. You guessed it, it was John McCain. And he got his way, it was stopped. And now POW MIA families are left wondering what happened to their brave sons in uniform who were lost forever in the hands of North Korea, Vietnam, the Soviet Union, and China, all because John McCain refused to cooperate and he shut it down. And you wonder how guys like that rise to the top in politics? Well, as they say, scum rises to the top. My name is Alex Jones. Most of you know me from my syndicated radio program and my documentary films, as well as InfoWars Nightly News. When I got on air 20 years ago, I had discovered the globalist program, their plan to take over the world, and my focus went from running six miles every other day, swimming two, three miles a couple times a week, and lifting weights to focusing on fighting the globalist. I've gone from 279 pounds all the way down to 235 pounds and the weight's going off even faster. Super Male Vitality, Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine, and Oxy Powder. Those three products of the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products are the most important from my own personal experience. And it wasn't just that my weight loss accelerated, my muscle mass increased, my stamina, my energy levels exploded. Now is the time to take action. Start your journey today with the Alex Challenge Pack. It's the trifecta of change. Secure yours today and get free shipping for a limited time at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139.